Hello dear viewers hope you all are doing well well in our last video we discussed about soul travel and universal secrets if you have not seen our last video then you can click the i button and go through our last video link is also available in description box today we will try to understand how to reconnect with your soul So let's move ahead and try to find answers to this very important and interesting question related to our life in this video. Hello my name is Gurpreet Arora and I'll be your host for today. I welcome you all to our channel Make Me Pure International. Today we are going to discuss a very unique topic how to reconnect with your soul. But before we begin please make sure to like this video subscribe to our channel press the bell button right next to it and share the video with your friends now everyone talks about connecting with their soul or their advanced self but what does this really feel like how do you know when you are connecting with the true essence of you discovering your soul is basically discovering your true inner being and through this discovery you are capable to align with your purpose your feeling and what makes you feel whole your soul is always there for you to connect with you don't need to reach a certain stage of enlightenment or spend hours practicing your soul is always available to you as a tool of guidance and support Aligning with your soul can help you to live a further conscious, apprehensive life and can also help you to transcend the pride and tune into your highest purpose. The soul is the truth of who we are. Your soul is more important than you can comprehend. It's smarter than a computer and more important than nuclear warfare. Your soul is endless, infinite and continuing and it's waiting for you to say hello. Here's a process of getting back to the root of the self to reconnect with the soul. To practice this variation of awareness, you need only assent to proposition that you aren't your thoughts. Now let's talk about some of the tips to connect to your soul remember i'm not my thoughts distance from and disidentify with your thoughts accept yourself completely find your inner voice and state your truth before your advanced self stay as long as it takes let your soul guide you You should meditate often. The best way to get to know the soul within is to sit still and embrace the silence. You came from a place free of stillness and tranquility. So meditation allows you to connect back to the source and stay predicated on a planet full of all types of distractions. We have each been thrown into this fast-paced chaotic world but that doesn't mean we have to give in to this energy. Meditation will help you stay calm and connected to advanced dreams outside of this physical 3D world. You also need to open your heart. Don't shy away from vulnerability. Once you reveal your true self to others you will set yourself free most people tuck their feelings deep within themselves allowing that expressing feelings makes them weak or exposed still in order to really get to know yourself you have to let yourself shine this means opening up and taking down the walls that you have assembled around yourself throughout your life when you open your heart you will be capable to connect to your soul more which will help you connect to others the pride lives within the mind 
but the soul lives within the heart. Practice gratitude. Still, incorporating gratitude into your everyday life will help you open your heart and connect to your true essence love. If you want to witness the pureness of your soul, when you wake up each day, eat a nutritional meal, hug your loved ones or get a new job, express your thanks to the universe. Get focused in life. Discovering yourself is work itself. So you have to have genuine attachment to successfully achieve it. Sometimes the pressure and hassles of life tend to overwhelm our feelings and make us lose track of our lives. You cannot think easily because you are suffering from monetary troubles. You cannot concentrate on your work because you are having domestic issues. Also, you cannot explore yourself well enough if your mind is preoccupied with intrusive thoughts. Take a break from your work, disengage yourself from external affairs and also use this time to do self-reflections. First, become a compassionate witness to yourself. Realize that thoughts and feelings aren't true or false. Suspend the need to be right. Seek the root feelings like fear or sadness. Accept thinking and feeling numerous things at once. It's interferings and commentary about your thoughts, dredging up old wounds and scripts from the history which tricks you into focusing with your thoughts, making you confused. In other words, you had been conned into getting fused with your thoughts. A neat memory trick is to dis disidentify your thoughts so you don't get coned. How will you know when you have found your inner voice? You will know. It feels very different inside yourself when you connect with your advanced wisdom. And when your soul gives you the guidance you were seeking, don't be shocked if instinctive happenings of forgiveness or compassion well up from within. Now, if you want to learn further about astral travel and how to relax both the mind and body, contact us on the given number for further information. Alternatively, log on to www dot makesmepure.com to get help with anxiety, depression or even to know the answers behind your current life. I hope you all enjoyed this informative video. Please don't forget to show your love to our YouTube channel by liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing. See you all in our next video. Stay happy, stay blessed, stay safe. Have a nice day ahead. Take care. Goodbye.